who went 585 days between games up until last week. Missed 26 games over the course of the last three seasons after a first three seasons of his career, which were stellar. It's great to see number 12 back on the field for this offense. It's been a long time coming. There's so much optimism for him. Just string together a few drives. Being the leader of this franchise. I want to ask both of you about that process that he went through because it was fascinating to talk to him. Second and six as it's incomplete as he was trying to get to that line of make. He was looking for Chester Rogers. Guys, he said to us, you know, I started getting better when I stopped searching for the quick fix. Yeah, he said it was a long all season. He, every day he wanted to wake up and like, I don't feel better. Why don't I feel better? And he said he had to get away from the quick fix. And he wanted to focus on just each day improving. And he said, you know, it's a little bit cliche, but that's how I approached it. And it's good that he's got a smile on his face right now. Always about the journey. We're more important in the end, it's about the journey. And Andrew Luck had to understand that. That was a journey that had some real lows as he was so honest in discussing it with us. Here's a third down and six. And that pass batted away by Young. Andrew Luck, they're trying to build this relationship. Frank talked about it. When he came in here, he wanted to build this relationship on trust. He has a way with quarterbacks. He said he wanted it to happen organically. This is the area of the field Andrew's trying to capitalize on. It's the most important relationship on the football team, guys. The quarterback and the head coach. They have to be on Luck. Extending to the right. And it's intercepted. Levine with the pickoff. So prime position for the Colts, and instead a turnover. Anthony Levine playing the ball off the deflection. They have collapsed without him. Just 17.2 points per game and 287 yards. Of course, they were without him. Second and seven. Luck complete for a first down as he finds Jack Doyle, the big tight end. Luck's first completion of the night goes for 16 yards. This is one of the things they love about Quentin Nelson. They're going to pull him and run the play action and get sucked up by the linebackers. One of the best things he did at Notre Dame was pull around the edge. Athletic offensive lineman. That's why they picked him Here on with the second and 12. Luck reaching up and out for it, but beyond Ryan Grant. Absolutely does, man. I love how Bogue emphasized nasty. <laughs> Third and 12. Luck. Good look that time. Stepped forward and found Doyle again for another first down. And that's what Andrew Luck brings. We talk about him holding the football in the pocket. Sometimes when you hold the ball in the pocket, you have to just step up. Andrew Luck dropping back. He sees the pressure coming outside. What do the great ones do? They step up in the pocket and delivers a strike to Doyle. The athleticism paying off. High formation with Ferguson. They go play action out of it. Luck with time. He finds Ferguson out of the backfield. Flanking Andrew Luck in the backfield. Luck looks left and on the slant. He gets it complete to Chester Rogers for another on the bus. Just having fun, man. That's what it's about. That was in and out at the third and 12 to Doyle, the third and three to Rogers. Here's third and 10. He's going for the shallow cross, but it was through the hands of Ryan Grant. So they will be punting away from there. Yeah, and that was not on Andrew Luck. About Andrew Luck and getting rid of the football quick. You take a look at what he's done in the past. Just holding the football. Pat, 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 pat. You can't do that. You have to get the ball out quick. Frank Wright and Chris Ballard. The emphasis was catching the ball and get rid of it quick. That's what he's done tonight. You can already see the fruits of the labor paying dividends tonight. Boys, Andrew Luck's not going to hold the ball this year. And he said, I've gotten better every day of camp. Feels like he's got a new lease on his football life. Second and eight. Shallow cross and taken down right away, says the guy who has the fourth most perceptions in the history of the sport. Taken down is Luck. And it was Sizzle himself. Three of their four possessions. As Luck tries to get back to business, pressure comes straight up the middle. He was pushed back, and he throws it away. 
And we've seen a little bit of everything from Andrew Luck tonight. You know, he's trying to knock off the rust. It's early. You see here, he's going to extend the play. Nothing's there. It's third down. Just throw it away. Allow Vinatieri to come out there and get you three points. Can't throw the picks in the red zone. But then at times, he was able to step up in the pocket and find his tight end. Nice awareness and patience in the pocket. But this one really isn't on him. It's a tough sack by T. Sizzle. You know? Second and ten, shallow cross, complete. And to the 19-yard line goes Eric Ebron. What's that? Luck. Sacked again. There we go once again, guys. Andrew Luck holding the football. Baltimore brought a little pressure on the strong side. Andrew Luck has to recognize it as number 41, Anthony Levine, is coming off the strong side. He's got to get rid of that ball. Now, he can't hold it. That's not on the offensive line. That's not on the receiver.